Welcome guys to my platform. This is GK Emmanuel and then I believe you would enjoy my platform. Kindly like and subscribe. And you can also share the link so that we all learn things between nursing and then medicine. Alright, so without wasting my time, we are going to start with renin angiotensin system. Now, someone will ask, what is renin angiotensin system? It is all about um, fluid and electrolyte imbalance in the body, how fluid and electrolyte imbalance are being corrected in the body. So, this is a short summarization of everything over here. So, from the beginning, whenever there is low cardiac output in the body, we all know that um, cardiac output as the volume of blood that is being circulated um, in the whole body per one cardiac cycle. So, the formula for cardiac output is the heart rate times the stroke volume. Is that okay? So, the normal cardiac output per one cardiac cycle is 5.5 liters. 5.5 liters. And 80% of this 5.5 liters goes to the kidney. 80% of this 5.5 liters goes to the, to the kidney. So, whenever the kidney realizes that 80% of the 5.5 um, liters of the cardiac output, which has been coming to the kidney, it is not up to the normal volume. What it means is that it would assume the volume or the blood volume is low, which would um, trigger the um, kidney to release the renin. So it's going to trigger the kidneys to release the renin over here. Then once the renin is being released, the liver also would release the angiotensinogen. Then the angiotensin, um, the renin would act on the angiotensin OG to convert it to what we call the angiotensin 1. When it happens like that, the lungs also here would also release the ACE, that is the angiotensin converting enzyme. Angiotensin converting enzymes. So, this angiotensin converting enzymes is going to convert the angiotensin OG1 to angio, sorry, angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Now, when it gets here, there are two, two pathways over here. The angiotensin 2 would pass this pathway to go and stimulate, stimulate the adrenal cortex of the adrenal gland over here so that the adrenal cortex of the adrenal gland would release the aldosterone. Now the function or the main function of the aldosterone hormone is to increase the reabsorption of sodium in the body and whenever there is increase in reabsorption of sodium there is a subsequent increase in water which will intend to increase the blood volume in the body to help elevate the blood pressure or to keep the blood pressure normal. Also, the angiotensin 2 can also use this pathway to act on the blood vessels to cause what we call the vasoconstriction. So that is when, when we say vasoconstriction, it is when the size of the blood vessel will become narrow so that blood pressure would increase. You know that blood pressure increases as peripheral resistance of the blood vessels increases. So when there is vasoconstriction, what it means is that the blood vessel would, would decrease or would constrict or would narrow, which would make the lumen of the vessel to become small to increase the peripheral resistance. Once there is an increase in the peripheral resistance, it is going to increase blood pressure over here. So you'll be getting increased blood pressure then now the blood pressure or the blood volume would be corrected. I hope you find this piece of video very useful. Don't forget to subscribe and then like and drop your comment. If you have any question, just drop it in the comment section and I will attend to you. Have a nice day.